Today we're installing a Mad Jax rear seat cover on our Mad Jax rear seat cushions. To do this, we'll use a pair of scissors, a small pry tool, 3 8 staples, and a pneumatic staple gun. To begin, place our rear seat cover bottom face down. Now we can take our cushion, set it inside our cover, so that all four corners have the same amount of reveal. Once this is accomplished, now we can staple. Starting with our first corner, we're just going to tack one staple in to begin. Now we're going to go to the complete opposite corner and match our fabric that we did on the other side. Tack one more staple. And now we're ready to staple our seams. Starting with one of the middle seams, you want to pull just as much fabric as we pulled on the sides and straddle your seam. Same thing. You want to pull the equal amount, straddle your seam. Before we nail the rest, now we're ready to staple our insides. All we're doing here is continuing with the same amount of reveal. Now that we have our middle secured, flip over our cushion, make sure we don't have any bubbles in our fabric, and now we're ready to work on our four corners. To do this, we're going to pull the same amount of fabric. We can check our seam, make sure we're good, opposite corner. two corners, check our seam, nice and straight, shoot another secured staple, finish our corner out. Now that we have all four corners secured and straight, we can secure our sides. To do this, using our seam as a guide, we're just going to pull as much fabric as we need to keep a straight line and secure. We're going to start with the middle. Just going to place a few staples there. Check my seam once more. Pull as I need it to straighten it out. A few more staples in the middle. Last spot. Creases. Now that we have stapled and secured all edges of our seat cushion and we're happy with our seams, we can now install our rear seat cover on our lean back seat. Take your lean back cover, lay it face down as well, pop off poly on the back side of the lean back. We'll need that later. Insert your cushion to go along with the U on the cover. Insert the cover inside, cushion inside the cover. Once you have all four corners with an even amount of reveal, we can staple the first corner. Just one. Now we're going to go opposite corner. 
You can also use your seam as a guide to how much fabric to pull. But you want to try to match up the opposite side, same amount of fabric. And then your final corner. Everything looks good. Now we're ready to staple our seams. Starting in the middle once again. Being sure to pull the same amount all the way around. Once you have the seams on the bottom side of your lean back, flip your lean back around, do the same thing on the top. When you do the top, you want to pull to where that your seam runs along the contour of your cushion. Again, straddle the seam, staple. Same thing on the opposite side. We're going to look at our seam. Now we're ready to staple our middles of our cushions. Pulling the same amount of fabric as well. The middle. Just want to pull it tight not too far past where you have your seam stapled at. Once all of our middles are stapled and secured, now we can work on our corners. We're going to use our seam as a guide and secure our corners. We're going to have some overlap, so we may just staple that down as well. the corner, check our seams. Now that we have our corners done, we can work on our sides. We're going to do the same thing as well, using our seam as a guide. We're going to pull our fabric tight, secure the middle with a few staples, and then work our way around the corner. Now that we have all four corners and our sides are secured, we're happy with our seam. Our last step is to secure our top. To begin our top, all we're trying to do here is pull our fabric and keep our seam straight. So what I'll do is try to pull the same amount with each hand so where it's nice and tight and there's no bubbles. Roll it with your hand, secure it. You want to put a few staples in the middle to hold it in place. Once you have that, you can pull your sides and work out any bubbles and any dips in your seams. Now that our cover is completely stapled and we are happy with our seams, we can reattach our lean back cover. Once that's done, we have successfully completed our Mad Jack's rear cover installation.